Stations that paint a picture. Gorgeous landscapes unfolding outside the window. And local specialties that you can try on board or along the way. There are many ways to explore Japan, but train travel is among my absolute favorites. From Tokyo Pass 3, my name is Michelle. Join me as I explore Japan by rail. Today's journey begins at Ohara Station. We are riding the Izumi Railway, known for their Moomin train. In 2009, as an effort to draw more customers, Izumi Railway used the beloved Finnish comic series to rebrand some of their train cars. Next stop, Kuniyoshi. One side of the station is a vast green field with chairs, benches, And rather old and mean statues. The other side is a shop that sells m o o i n goods. A short walk from the station takes you to a double power spot. Two shrines side by side. The one on the left is called Kunyoshi Shrine, while the one on the right is Kazusa Izumo. Shrine in Shimane Prefecture, Kazusa Izumo Taisha is known to brand players related to love. I know, this station looks like the stuff horror movies are made of, but that's part of what makes it cool. You don't really know that there's a station out here unless you come and take a closer look. Our destination is a 30 minute walk from the station, which may sound a bit far, but we're rewarded with a gorgeous landscape of Chiba along the way. We've reached our destination. This is Poponoka, where old or vintage train cars lay to rest and railway romantics like me come to play. Some of the train cars are maintained as they were, and you can play make believe as you like it. Others have been transformed into shops selling a variety of goods, from eggs and local goods to showa toys and collectibles. One in particular has been transformed into a cafe that serves TKG, which stands for Tamago Kake Gohan. That's raw egg and rice for people who haven't heard of it. Here, let me show you how it works. First, you crack the egg on top of hot rice, then you put in a bit of soy sauce. The idea is you put the egg and then soy sauce and then you mix it together and then you eat it. It's pretty good actually. At last, we've reached our final stop for the day Motaki Station. A historic castle town, many of the buildings in Otaki retain their old town flavor. Most prominent among these is Otaki Castle, which belonged to the Satomi clan and dates back to the 1500s. Today, the castle is a museum offering a glimpse into Japan's past. Also, while in town, make sure you try grilled boar meat. There's a restaurant right outside the station that serves this distinctly flavored dish. Alright, so I'm catching the train back to Ohara Station where we started. 
and unfortunately this marks the end of our Mulan trip together. I've got a couple more suggestions on what you could put on your itinerary when you do make this trip so make sure to check tokyopass3.com. And hey, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to LSS, that's like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. This is your resident train travel enthusiast, Angel, saying see you again next time. Bye!